<laughs> That's probably a little bit more. Damn, that looked a little bit better than I thought. Let's make two. Okay, so I just took some of the, uh, whatever, galvanized off, took the tape off, relabeled it, and I'm just kind of scuffing it. Alright, so I just whacked this with a hammer. Pretty happy with that. I think that is going to work. So, I'm going to see if this will fit in the truck. My idea is drill a hole here, weld the nut on the end in the inside. Drill a hole, weld the nut. This is maybe too big. I don't know. Hopefully, I can leave this on here. And just slip that in that pocket, and then re-weld it. So nice if I can get that tighter. How am I gonna do that? I need to make it good. Uh, I need to make it more round. Let's see if it fits in the truck. This is what it you want. So now I've got it all cleaned up. So I got that really tight. So drill a hole one inch above. So when I put this back in the truck, my theory is I want to weld across here and here. This will be back in there. Now obviously I'll be welding across here and welding across here. The nut will be up here, and obviously uh, no, there won't be any weld here, just here and here. So, pretty happy with that. Just some time with a sledgehammer and a press. Idea. Just gotta weld the nut on the back. Weld it in the truck. Okay, so I got the lights on. Yeah, so I'm actually using eight screws, number eight screws and clips on the bottom instead of the original, I think they're six millimeter. So now I've got a eight, number eight screw holding the housing on and the cover is a four millimeter. And then those things are solid. That one didn't sink down in there, but these screws are temporary. These are not stainless, so I gotta get some new ones. But that's done. Okay. I'll stop. Weld it on the uh, the nut. Seven sixteen on the back. Oh, still hot. I'm all ready to go. Just clean up the truck. Clean up all these rust holes. A couple of little spots here and there. Pretty good on this side. A little hole on that side. There's a hole over there underneath the seat. But we'll get to that. My dear was.
Okay, here's the current pedal box assembly. I'm all the way back. Parking brake, oh, I can't even reach the parking brake, so obviously I'm too far back. Oh, I just noticed the steering wheel is way over here. I need to mark that up on the dash when I get a Sharpie. So the standard steering wheel is here. Yeah, that's about where I had it, yeah, with the circle in the hole. So, uh, trying to figure out where to put this. So I just figured out, if I take out this one bolt, this whole assembly comes out, and there's tons of room. So I think the only piece I need of this original pellet is the assembly, is this piece. I could technically take this off. I don't need this piece. Or this piece or the bracket. All this thing does, I guess I could keep that piece. All this does is hold the steering wheel, which is gonna be gone. So I don't know if I can lock this up or not. Oh I can't. So I got the plates welded back in with the little Base from the back, on both sides welded. Ended up getting some thinner welding wire. I should've got 25, I got down to 30. I tried to do it with my flux, I ended up having to do it with the MIG. I tried to use the TIG for the first time ever and it failed. But um, yeah, it's coming. So I finally found the right bearing. So all these trucks, all the, these trucks need a, uh, what is this stupid thing? It's a 30232. Also known as a, I think it's the right bearing. Yeah. So all the service manual, all the uh, parts stores say you need a 30206. This is not big enough. Clearly doesn't fit, see? So every single parts store, that's the correct bearing. It's incorrect size. It doesn't fit. It's not big enough. So I actually had one bearing the correct size. Oh, here's the correct bearing. This truck came with one bearing that was right, it was missing the race. So it's actually labeled uh, the correct part number. There's two part numbers that are good. 32KBO2. This is the correct bearing, but the truck didn't have a race. It was missing the race. So I came with a couple of these bearings, but they don't fit. And this is what all the auto parts stores say. So this is the bad bearing. And the correct bearing is also known as a 302. I don't know if you can see that or not. 30232. I don't know, I can't see. Anyways, the correct one's like 64 millimeters. 65 millimeters. The incorrect one, it's like. 61, whatever, 62 millimeters. So it's like two millimeter difference. So now I can actually put the truck. So this is for the front. It's the front inner bearing, not the outer bearing. The outer bearing is correct. Uh, it took me a while. I found this bearing in an open box on eBay. Um, that's the only way I, place I could find it. From someplace. I did find it in France for like 17 bucks with like $50 shipping. And I think I found one in Germany for like 20 bucks with like $50 shipping. So, uh, now you know that's the correct bearing. Uh, 302 or whatever the other one is. Let me finally get this thing rolling.
Okay, this is a, I think it was a 2011 Nissan Leaf electric power steering column with tilt. Same thing as you know. I think you know already. I had a 2011 Nissan Leaf. Now I've got a 2021 Leaf. And uh, that's what it looks like. I just mocked it up in the truck. It looks like it's going to fit really good. Worst case, I may have to put a little notch in the dash. I don't know. But um, this computer, I don't think it can be moved because it's got some built-in wiring. Just got a battery connector. This is all pre-wired. I need to find the connector to plug into power. It's got the column, the collapsible column, which the 520 and 620 doesn't have. That's kind of nice. I just got to figure out a steering box to use or a steering rack to use. This mounts to the dash. And this one actually has up and down tilt and it's got a little bit of a, is it tilt back? I never use mine, but it's got up and down. It doesn't have in and out, it just has up and down. But I noticed the three bolts on here. I may be able to clock this and turn this, turn this thing and it'll fit better. And just re-weld this flange, just cut this tube, turn it, re-weld it. The sad thing is the splines on here. I thought all Nissans had the same spline. This is actually smaller than the 521. So the stock 521 steering wheel does not fit this column. I was kind of hoping it would. That would have been kind of cool. But I plan on running a newer Nissan wheel anyway, so I can have steering wheel controls or whatever. Why not? But yeah, I just got to uh, so get it to fit. I wasn't going to use the stock steering wheel, but I've actually kind of grown on this one now. And it is in basically perfect condition. Everything. So uh, I may try to, maybe it will try to, does that come out of there? I don't think it does. I think uh, those screws just come, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's all steel one piece. Yeah. There's, I'd have to somehow find a way to reduce that down smaller, which is not going to be easy. Either run an aftermarket wheel or a quick release or whatever. I was thinking I'd use like a quick adapter to connect that to this. I don't know if that's a quick release adapter. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Probably just use a stock knee on steering wheel. So now i got to figure out how to mount that in here. It looks like it's gonna fit. I think worst case, I may have to notch this, which there's nothing on the other side. It's the uh, fuse box and wiper on that side, and then for that's for a left-hand drive truck. I guess on a right-hand drive truck, this would be opposite. There's nothing here on this truck, so I could easily notch that and just come into the other compartment. But we'll see. We'll figure out where it goes. I'm pretty sure I just got to put a bar across. To have something to mount to get rid of the little hangy down stuff just like all the modern hard bodies and out the d21s and up have a steel bar that goes across that holds your steering column I just need to maybe i'll go buy one of those and chop it down to size that may be a good idea or i'll just make one from scratch i don't know all right here we go first time ever i've just installed the dash uh, with the new metric bolt. I just took off the uh, What is it called? Cigarette lighter was here. I think it's supposed to be over here But uh, next I got to take out this uh, What do you call it? Hazards? I think I'm gonna rearrange some stuff. I'm gonna move the hazards over here I think I'm gonna put the ignition switch here with the lights up here Fan will keep This moves around. I don't like things hanging down below I need to clear up the space for the new steering column. So I'm going to put the pedals back in a minute. There we go. Four knobs. No more junk hanging down. Okay, so I've made some brackets. Oh, I've already forgot the dimensions. I think they're like six inches. Um, basically, there's some. Okay, so I made the brackets, drilled two holes into the uh, D-pillar, put 
put in some 10 millimeter rev nuts. I've got some, uh, I think it's like one inch bar. I just tack welded it on. Um, just kind of tacked on here for now. So basically, I bolted them on there. Kind of cover the uh, spring pockets or the, uh, what do you call it? Door pockets. So now, taking apart the uh, leaf uh, steering column. Kind of mocked it up. Added a piece of a uh, tube. So this is the top brackets. It's basically gonna go right here. I think it's gonna work out good. I mocked it up earlier with the motor on there and it fit. So here's the, uh, the leaf motor. Actually, it took it apart. That thing slid off. It's kind of interesting what's underneath here. It's like a steel collar that's squished on. I don't know if this is supposed to bend in an accident or what, because the outer collar is uh, two pieces. But here's the 521 shaft, you know, it's bigger. But here's the interesting thing about the 521 and the leaf. The inside tube is exactly the same diameter. This, uh, this tube here, exact same diameter. This tube is bigger. So, uh, pretty bizarre. So in theory, I could actually cut this off and uh, slide this tube into here. And then I could cut this off, cut this off, weld this onto this piece of uh, tube. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna buy another one of these as a mock-up, but... Um, and I got the electrical connector today. I went to the junkyard and I got, it was actually from a 2018 Sentra, it's the same. And I also got the uh, the plug, is it in here? Yeah. So I found out I was missing the, uh, was it the female of that? So uh, I got one. This actually went right into the Sentra computer, which ironically, it's a little different than the, the leaf one. Does that come out of there? Yes, that one doesn't come out. See, on the center, the, the, the wire harness in the vehicle just plugs right in the computer. So I got that now, and I got a couple of these. Um, there's a little different wiring on the center, I think. The uh, wiring was up here on the center, not here. So I guess the motor's clogged. That's what it is. Because it was here. Anyways. So I got the wiring figured out. I haven't tested it yet. But I'm uh, kind of nervous to cut this until I'm all ready. But um, let's get the column in. I made some tabs. I should be done. So I took some. Oh, those look pretty nasty. I'm going to clean these. So I just made two uh, flat stock tabs that fit those uh, ears on the uh, column. I just welded them in some 8mm uh, bolts like the factory so I can just unscrew these from the bottom from the nuts. I'm just gonna have them go up but they hit the dash so let me clean these up. I'll just use the uh well let me go clean these up. Okay so I made these brackets that match these tabs. Kind of a weird shape. You can see it's just a piece of scrap steel I had that had a it was actually the same steel I used for the other. I just cut it off. This is actually going to wrap around the tube. And I uh, just welded an old Nissan bolt in there. So these go. They're different. I just got to throw the bolts in. Uh, let's see how this works for a second. Oh, come on, tripod. I'll lock these back all the way. I got some adjustability. Lock those in here. This is the way it was at the, I took one of these apart today at the junkyard. You just stick your ratchet up and then take off the nut. 
Well, there was four of these. I took out one or two of these out of the junkyard today to get those wires. I just use a socket and uh, take out all four bolts. So I can still make tabs for the uh, motor assembly. I just stuck my finger in there in that greasy hole. <laughs> now I'll lock those down. Now I'll lock those down. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Goes nice and straight. It's not gonna go. I'll just show you. I got some tape here where the center is. The center on this truck is kind of weird. See, I put an arrow down there where the steering column center was. And there's a dent here in the column, which is not center. I thought the center would be, well, I guess the center is kind of with the speedo. I don't know, every time I look at it, I think it's not. But the holes down here for the old column are, let's get it like this. They're not centered with the cluster, which, Whatever. So I'm gonna put this on here. Oh, that fits a lot better. I had the bolts going the other way before. So I'm gonna line up with that dent somewhere around there. And I hope this is gonna work out. So I'm gonna tack this on somehow. And then maybe, I don't know, I wish I had a steering wheel I could put on here. All right, so I got it tacked in. It feels kind of weird. I don't have it centered with the cluster, but that's how the bumps are in the dash. That's how the old mounts were, so I guess that's how the old one was. So, you can see I kind of wrapped around that uh, little L bracket. So now I can reinforce it if I need to. But the cool thing about this uh, tilt column, let's see if I can put the light back. Put my dome light back. I can do this. Let me see. Oh, I got a tack wheel. Whoa. It's got a little up and down movement. And this is the same tilt column. That, I think it's pretty much the same tilt column I had in my 85 720. So, I don't have to worry about the angle because I can't screw that up. Got lots of adjustability. Now to put the pedal assembly back in. Uh, and I wish I could uh, put this stupid steering wheel in. This thing's actually, is this thing still on? Oh, it's still on. So I don't even know which way the steering wheel goes. Is that the top? Shoot, I don't even know. I think the curve goes up. I think it's going to be about here somewhere. I don't know. Does that look right? I don't know. Man, this thing is heavy. So I still haven't decided if I'm just going to buy a cheap aftermarket steering wheel like I had on the Pathfinder in the 93 hard body. Just use the smaller steering wheel. And not modify the columns. Or I'm going to uh, modify the columns and use that big old thing. Uh, just because it's in perfect condition and it's kind of didn't think I liked it, but kind of do now. Okay, so uh, now I think I got to take the dash out for the first time ever. I bought this truck with the dash in. I don't know if I showed you. I moved the hazard switch. I took this vent out because it was hitting this tube, but oh, it actually clears. Oh yes. Oh, it's the hit. I think it hits. This knob was hitting. I got to do a little trim to put the lever back on. It will go back on, even though in the future I plan on putting in a modern HVAC in a center console. But for now, I don't really need that door because there's another door on the side here, which hooks up to this lever. And I think I'll take all that out one day. But I really like it. For now, it's pretty cool. So here's the little ashtray. It's actually plastic with a metal bottom, which is kind of interesting. 
And, uh, oh shoot, don't break it. Almost broke the thing. And then, uh, see, I know it's got to put a double din in there. I'd actually bought the brackets today at the junkyard. Uh, I think I want to put a plate along here. Plastic or something kind of hide some of this. I'm really liking how this is flush up against the bottom, just like stock. I may be able to uh, either reuse the, in theory, I could reuse the factory, which factory, everything's going to be factory, the 521 column thing here, this plastic, because like I said, oh no, wait, this tube is the same diameter as the other tube. This tube is bigger. I could get all crazy. I don't know if I'm going to cut all this stuff off or not yet. Uh, but uh, it's looking good in here. So uh, I bought a rack from a Versa. I got to pick it up tomorrow. But I bought this from a R50 Pathfinder. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it or not. It just changes the direction. And my idea is that I can actually plug in the uh, column. Like this, go up to the column, and this go down to the rack. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but uh, it's going to be the tricky bit. Uh, I'm going to show this before, but here's the uh, the verse. Uh, no, this is the leaf. Probably the same on the Versa. Shaft. This goes to the motor. This goes down. That's the motor. That goes down to the rack. The rack has got a weird square connected. Okay, so I just took out the dash. And I can see my little brackets a little better. Maybe. Maybe I don't need the light anymore. So you can see I got them bolted on. That's where the uh, column goes. Here's where the original mounts went down there. So I gotta cut those up. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a little hard to get this bolts off with the dash, get the dash out. It was doable, but ideally we'd put this on after the dash and take this off before the dash needs to come out in the future. Um, so this is clear coated. This tube I'm using, reusing. So it didn't weld very good right there because the clear coat. Man, I got my miter pretty good. Whatever that angle was. So I'm going to weld this up solid or stronger. So I've only got a little tiny tack on there. I'm going to put the pedal box back in. Okay, I've got it reinstalled. Try to tilt the wheel here. I don't know if you can see this. Ugh. So we're doing a tripod today. Can you see that? What can you see? Okay, I think that's it. It's got tilt. See, down is unlocked. Ooh. <laughs> and it goes up and down. So I can actually go up to that. I don't want to lock in that weight. So I need to make brackets for that. Oh, that looks kind of weird. I was expecting those tabs to be flat. Put this two back on wrong? Huh. See what I mean? Those two tabs back there. So this is... Here's my, here's my feet. Well, that looks pretty good. I was thinking I was going to have to cut the dash. There's absolutely nothing there. Oh, wait a second. I think that's right on the crack of that seam. That box, the air box. But I can clock this tube. I could cut this and rotate that whole assembly. I don't think I need to because... I think if I mount it right there, that's like a really good angle. All right? Get the right seat. The seat's a little funky. Come right in the center. And then I can actually go down. I think that's a good angle. So now I gotta fabricate some brackets. I have no idea why those are like a different plane. Is it adjustable? Is this thing adjustable? Well, this thing pivots. Huh. I don't remember that being like that. I took out a couple of these just in the junkyard. I could make new mounts actually, but so now I gotta figure out how to do that. I connect something to that. 
Here's the original column mount, so. Oh boy, let's figure this out. Okay, I just turned this call. Yeah, this thing is, this tube here, which is the same diameter as the 521 shaft, just slides into here. It's kind of like a collapsible column. This thing can go in and out. Uh, I guess. I don't know about in and out. Because if it goes out, it'll come through here. It can definitely turn. I just turned it quite easily. Now these things turn. So... And I could even get more pit if I cut that bracket. It hits the motor right there. But I think I got those on the same plane as these. So I could probably put a steel tab down to here and have it come up to here or something. I kind of wanted to have something from here to here. And yeah, this thing feels really solid. I'll figure it out a little bit back.